Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is your host, Christopher Corey with Shadows Techland. So as of right now, um, obviously everything is pretty um, digital. Everyone has movies, music, photos, takes photos with their camera, with their phone, wherever they may go. You probably have a crap ton of photos just like myself. What are you supposed to do with them? Well, there's a lot of different things that you can do. You can just go ahead and throw it into Windows. Of course, that doesn't give you a nice clean interface to look at everything. Um, there's obviously online services you can use to host your, your photos like uh, Google Drive, Hotmail, uh, lots of different alternatives out there. Uh, one of the things that I have found is once you start to get pretty crazy into photos, it gets really hard to manage everything. I have photos, you know, for personal, for, um, you know, different computer groups, gaming groups I'm in. Mm -hmm. It gets pretty crazy after a while. It gets really hard to manage everything. I spent a lot of time looking around, looking for software that I could use to basically give a nice graphical uh, front-end interface. You can go ahead and look at everything, manipulate, uh, manage, and host. And one of the things that uh, I required personally for myself due to the fact of privacy reasons is being able to host it myself on my own personal servers. I didn't want to have an online service be able to do that for me for privacy and security reasons due to the fact that there's far too many data breaches pretty much with most of the big companies out there. Been lots of problems, just something I don't necessarily trust using to host all of my photos and personal information for that matter as well. I just, it, it's not something I want to trust. I have ended up uh, looking around for a while, tried for probably, I don't know, a couple weeks solid, going through various alternatives out there. Um, there's not really a lot that you can choose from if you were looking to host yourself because that requires other requirements that uh, online services obviously doing it for you went. Uh, what I ended up finding was a open source alternative that you can use um, that's actually, I mean, you can use it for personal use and it's also for small organizations, companies as well. Uh, what I found was an open source alternative called uh, PIWIGO. I will obviously leave a link in the description for the uh, software. Um, as of right now, as this current video is being produced, uh, it is at version 210, uh, excuse me, 2.10.2 .2 as of March 27th. So, what, about a month ago? It was the last time that it was uh, actually updated. Now, it does have the uh, ability to, I mean, if you have anywhere from, you know, just a couple hundred photos to several thousand photos like myself, uh, I've got somewhere of the range of, I don't know, 100 gigs in photos at this point. Now, the company was started, it looks like, in 2002, and it's been supporting users for more than 18 years. Um, it is open source. It is something you do have the ability to um, host yourself. There's a couple ways that you can actually uh, get this going. Um, you can do a cloud hosted, um, which is a free trial, but obviously if you're doing cloud hosted, um, there is uh, costs involved with that. Or you can go ahead and do a, a self-install, which is what I have done myself. I will also leave a link in the description of how I did that um, for my install. I will not be going over that, obviously, because I've already installed it myself, and I've been using this for actually about a year at this point. I actually just uh, resubscribed for another year not that long ago. Now, for the installs, I'll go over to the install guide here. So in order to do this, there is a couple ways. You can use the website and you can use the uh, net installer. Obviously, it depends on your level of uh, comfort with Linux and how familiar you are because if you do decide to do it through the installer or if you go through the guide that I used, which I have this actually installed in an Ubuntu VM, which I believe when I did my install was at version 18. 
Obviously, I've upgraded my VM to 20.04 because that's the newest at this point. Um, it will require my USQL 5 um, or the equivalent with a uh, Amera DB database. You also need PHP. It is recommended at this point uh, 5.3 is what they use, but they recommend 7 or 7.1. And I'll briefly go over a brief, briefly run down the install that I used. Obviously, I'm not going to go through and do it myself because I've already done this. But the first thing you'll need to do, obviously, is make sure that you have Ubuntu 16 or 18 during the time of this install. Uh, so you'll want to make sure that you update, and then you'll install Apache. You'll install MariaDB using the following command, whether it's 16, 17, or 18. Then you're going to do the MySQL server install. Follow these requirements. Then you'll restart the service. And then you're going to need to install PHP and the related modules using the following commands here. And then after you do that, then you will create your database using the following. So you'll install, you'll create the database, create the username, create the password for the database, make sure that you write that down. After you've done that, you'll run the following command here in order to download the software management. After that is done, then you will have to give it the correct permissions. And then after that, you will need to configure Apache. Now, regarding configuring the Apache, you will need to use whatever you are familiar with in Linux, whether it is um, NL or whatever it is that you decide to use for your favorite editor. And then you'll enable the software. You'll restart the Apache 2 service. And then it's going to bring you to this screen which you will need to put in your um, database configuration. So the username, the password you used, the password for the database, the name for the database. And then of course you will create a admin user account to log into. Obviously I will not be showing um, some of the features and some of the things inside of my management software for privacy and security reasons, but I'll go over a brief overview of some of what I can with you. So one of the things that I do like about this uh, photo management service, looks software, excuse me, is there is a lot of plugins that you can use, which are pretty extensive, honestly. I mean, there's a pretty giant list here. I mean, it's got anywhere from enabling with Flickr, um, various tools for statistics, who's online. Um, obviously, you can create, uh, use this for personal, or if you're going to use it for a small business, you can go through and you can create um, different user accounts. And you can also give those user accounts specific um, features and uh, permissions that you would like to give in order to only view certain folders. So if you want uh, to do it for like a business or even personal use, let's say you're using this to manage all of your photos for your friends and family members or just family in general, you can give each family member their own folder, give them permissions to only view their folder or everyone, etc. There's a lot of different things that you can use uh, with this. And there's actually a lot of tools and configurations that you can do um, as well. You can set up uh, dark and themes. You can do watermarks, uh, photo sizes that you can use. Um, depending on what restrictions you want to give, you can do upload photos. There's a lot. It's actually a pretty powerful piece of software. I'm actually quite happy with it and have been using it for quite a long time. I like it a lot. It's actually something that I pretty highly recommend. And it's not that expensive really either. Uh, let's see here. I'll go ahead and I'll log out.
And then basically uh, what will happen is you can see I've already created a user and an account with the service itself on their website. So it would be whatever this name is here and then pigwo.com. And then you would log in using the username and password that you signed up with the service with. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll log in with my non-admin account. That way I can show you a few things here. So as an example, I gave this non-admin account the ability to see certain folders that uh, I'm okay with seeing online. So I've got my phone backup, uh, my really old phone backup, my Samsung S10 that I use currently now, and then some game wallpapers, um, servers, and then some other photos and even older phone backup that I've uh, given access to. Now, the nice thing about this is this isn't hosted internally on a VM on my own RAID server, so I have complete and utter control over it. I have no restrictions for how much bandwidth I can use a month, how much data I can use a month, how much storage I can use a month, because it's all hosted myself. So I have complete and utter control over it, provided I don't breach any terms of service, which, unless you're doing something that you shouldn't be, wouldn't be a problem really anyways. Now, uh, let's see. I don't remember the exact price. I want to say it was like 50 bucks for a year. But uh, let me see here. One sec here, guys. I'll try and see if I can find that for you. And another nice thing, too, that I also forgot to mention is they do have a mobile app that you can download from uh, either the Apple Store or you can get from the uh, Google Store. So if you're an Android device, there's an app for that as well. Uh, let's see. I can't remember the exact pricing, but once I find that out, I will uh, definitely let, let you guys know. Now, they do have a trial that you can go ahead and use to see if it works for your needs before you do buy the service. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description for the website and also the installer I used in order to install this under Ubuntu. If you have any other questions, definitely feel free to reach out, guys. Uh, besides that, go ahead and uh, stay safe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Also, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my uh, media, which I have posted in the last screen. Have a good one, guys.